Today we're talking backpacks. This is the Ridge Commuter Weatherproof Backpack and I love it. It's a 20 liter backpack and this is my EDC. I use it for everything. Let's get into some of the details. It's a waterproof 900D nylon shell. This keeps the backpack very dry. I use it in several situations where I've gotten rained on, where I've got you know, du dust, dirt, mud, everything you think of. And everything in it is completely stay dry all the time. Now I can't say you can submerge it, but you know, to me it looks very, very waterproof for the most situations you will be in. So it's a 20 liter backpack. It's an 18 by 12 by six uh, as far as the dimensions of this backpack. It has several pockets all out throughout this entire backpack that you can put so many things away. It has YKK AquaGuard zippers, so that you can see in the zippers on the exterior right here. It helps to keep that water out of it, and they just feel very high quality. It's not like one of those backpacks where you have to really struggle to open, or you need two hands or like that. You can just easily one zipper or one hand. It has a hidden RFID pocket on the back here, so if you see the back part here, if you open it up on the bottom, it has that pocket where you can put away all your items in there. We use it to put our passports, our wallets, several of those items where we want to make sure we keep them nice and safe from anyone stealing that information. Number two, it's also safer in the backpack because for someone to get access to it, they literally have to access it from your back, which is very difficult. It has a shock resistant laptop um, holder. So on the back part here where your back is, it has a very nice padded material where it's like a suede material. And that material keeps everything super nice and tight in there. Really feels like if it does fall on the floor for whatever reason, it is gonna be safe and it's not gonna get any you know, kind of damage to it. I keep my iPad Pro in here so it is very large um, and it can hold, I'm sure, a larger laptop in here. It has also a luggage strap here on the back. So on the back here, if you're gonna go ahead traveling or you want to have a luggage, you're gonna put the handle through here and put your backpack and rest on it. You have that ability. It also has a water bottle holder here. So this pocket, it's nice because when you don't have water bottle, water bottle in it, you can just go ahead and zip it up, keep it tight. When you have a water bottle, you open the zipper and that will expand to hold a larger water bottle in here if you need it. On the front here, you have two pockets and they have nice zippers here where you can go ahead and open them up, both of them, and that's extra storage for you. So they are nice and deep. So I'll show you right now. This is my iPhone Pro Max. This is standing up and you can see that it fits in there nicely. So you can fit and you know, and you have a lot of space in here. So yeah, I still have probably about another four inches with my iPhone in there. Another four inches this way with it laying down. Um, so you can just shove a ton of stuff into that. Um, I love that little design they had right here for their uh, backpack as far as like the brand on it. To me, it's very subtle, very nice. It just looks very classy. Uh, all the zippers have this nice little ridge, the ridge on it. So it has their logo on it and it feels very nice with a little plasticky end on it. So they feel really high quality. So you have that second pocket down here as well. And if you notice, the pockets are protected because it has this little flap that goes over the pocket to avoid any water from getting into there. Um, you have this uh, strap right up here where you can hold it from and just pick it up and make it nice and easy to go ahead and lug it around. On the outside on this side here, opposite from the water bottle, you have another pocket which has a little magnet on it, uh, this little magnetic top. So you can go ahead and just put, for example, my iPhone, this is again an iPhone Pro Max. You go ahead and drop it into here and it completely fits in there, right? So you have it completely nice and secured and out of the elements. So right above it, you have the outlet for the power bank that you can go ahead and put the cable connected right here and then go ahead and charge your devices. So the power right. bank will be on the inside, protected from the elements, and then have the cable to come out to protect, to go ahead and charge whatever items you have on the outside. One of my favorite features of this backpack, and we use a lot for weekend getaways, is that we've actually packed up for two days worth of clothes for myself and my wife, and we use it as a, you know, weekend getaway bag. So what I love about it is, most backpacks, when you put it and you pack stuff in it, you're just gonna go ahead and have that option where you have to open it like this and get into the, the backpack. This backpack has both options. You can do that way where you can just open and grab your items right from the interior. Or if you go ahead and see on this front part here, you have a big zipper that you go ahead and open it. And now your backpack, you can lay it down on a table or a bed, wherever, it is, wherever you have a flat surface, and you can access all your items right from here. So what that avoids is from having all your clothes fall over or having to dig down and find what's in there. You can literally see all your items right in the backpack from this option. So this is my favorite feature of it. And the interior of this has so much organization, just fantastic. So let's talk about some of those options here on the inside. First off, the front part of the backpack, which is this front here, on the back side of it, it has another two zippers. It's pretty much the same size as the ones on the in the uh, front of the backpack, but they are completely separate. So they do not use, they do not join up with the one in the front. So that's nice. Uh, so you have two big zippers. You have one here, one here to organize your items and keep everything nice and clutter free in here. When you look on the interior of the backpack, you have a big mesh pocket right over here. Keep everything kind of nice and secured. A big zipper one right here. This one will go about maybe I'll say six inches down. And that's also big enough to hold, for example, my iPhone in there. And then over here, 
you have a nice little strap you want to go ahead and hold maybe your keys or something in here keep them organized and secure on the interior right over here on the side you have the pocket for the power bank you keep the power bank in here it comes with the cable so you can connect the power bank from here into this outlet and take it out so then you can go ahead and charge your devices i want to talk a little bit about the comfort of this backpack so many backpacks you have out there are not the most comfortable back backpacks ever to wear for a, to wear for a long period of time um, they may be either uncomfortable the straps will dig into your shoulders uh, it'll be maybe very hot uh, a lot of different things right and i love backpacks i'm a big backpack nerd so i have several backpacks and this is like i said been one of my favorites i've had it for about two years now and I can stand by their products. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I love Bridge products. I have their wallets, their ring, I have their backpack, I have their keychains. I have several of the products and everything that, I have, that I, they have created have stood the test of time and they're very high quality. So I'll go into that. Um, these backpack straps here, as you can see, they're perforated and they have padding on them. So it helps to make it a lot more comfortable and helps you, it's not really gonna you know, completely take away all the heat from it, but it helps to you know, get some of the heat off of you and be a little bit less hot. Um, so that's very, very important, at least for me here in the, in the conditions and weather that we live in. In the back here, you have a nice cushion, it's a foam cushion with like their logo insert. And believe it or not, it's kind of logo insert. I don't know if they did it purposely or not, but it helps with getting some of the air in through here and some of that circulation of air to keep your back a little bit less hot. But it's nice because it keeps this very comfortable on your back versus having one that is just uh, their soft back and you can feel everything you have in the backpack. So I don't know if you guys have had that experience before. You guys might have something in there might be poking into your back because you can feel it right through. This has a you know hard enough back backing with a foam insert, it feels like, that will keep all those items from poking into your back. That backing also helps to keep the backpack straight up and standing. It has nothing in it right now that's helping it. It's just the backpack itself is standing. That it has this bottom part here, which is very flat. And like I said, that back part is helping to keep it in that position. So. This is one of my all time favorite backpacks and I can literally stand by them and say that this is my favorite one so far. I have since updated this backpack and done a couple changes to it. Um, so I don't know exactly if the features are way different, but they look exactly the same from what I've seen online. Just a couple different things with the logo and stuff like that. Besides that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this EDC backpack review. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to please reach out to me. And let me know in the comments what you think, what questions you may have. Otherwise, I hope you guys please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.